Mr. Vesselot, welcome back to the channel, baby. So we've just had an email come in from NNDM, and we can see here that it's a new press release to its website. This guy, Oded Gira, was a senior advisor at Rothschild, and it seems like Yoav wants to bring him on to Nano Dimension. Today, the stock has been plummeting. Oh my god, that's a dangerous number. It's almost down 10%, as you can see here. It's down 9% today. I'm still super bullish on this company. The 52-week high, we had an all-time high of $17.89. Actually, that wasn't even an all-time high i think it was above a hundred dollars at one point this company well almost so today we will be discussing this new addition to the board of directors what this man has accomplished and achieved institutional ownership and our overall thoughts and feelings on nano dimension if you're new around here welcome to the channel my name is miguel and i look for the biggest juiciest growth stocks we've been following nano dimension for a while obviously you guys know that arc invest is quite heavily invested in this company so with nano dimension i love to look at what arc buys and sells and i've been trying tracking them for quite a while using this tracking site called lucidtracking.com. If you want to use it, look at my description box down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please click the join button above my head, join channel memberships. It's only 99 cents a month, or you can join the Patreon. But if you are unable to, just you hitting like and clicking subscribe is enough for me. Thank you so much for joining the family. And remember, none of this is financial advice. So you have Stern has been building out this team. You know, they've raised quite a lot of money, Nano Dimension. These guys have been adding up cash, adding up cash by doing direct offerings. This was in the region of hundreds of millions until we had this cash stack of about 1.5 billion dollars so this has been since september they've actually raised 1.5 billion dollars and they're still searching for an acquisition target now they've added this man oded gera and he was a senior advisor to rothschild if you guys know rothschild they're a family the rothschild family is a wealthy jewish family originally from frankfurt that rose to prominence with mayor amshel rothschild this is massive massive wealth this is generational wealth and you can see here these guys have been you know running the banking business since the 1760s so that was his current and last role a senior advisor to Rothschild now he's joining Nano Dimension but let's look at what else he's done Mr. Guerra initiated and was involved in advising Miftak Shamir on the disposition of 20.7% stake in Tanuva Food Industries Limited to Bright Foods Miftak Shamir Holdings Limited it's an investment company in Israel so Tanuva started out originally as an Israeli food processing company historically they were specializing in milk and dairy products and then it was sold and it's being controlled by Chinese state company Bright Foods. As we can see here, according to Wikipedia, Tanuva is the largest food manufacturer in Israel. It sells accounts for 70% of the country's dairy market, as well as sales of meat, eggs, and packaged foods. But what else? What else? This guy also advised Israel Electric Corporation on a $1.1 billion financing. Israel Electric Corporation is the largest supplier of electrical power in Israel. Well, damn, honey. He also advised Apex Partners on the acquisition of Sago Investments House. Apex Apex Partners is actually a British private equity firm. So yeah, this guy is a seasoned veteran in advising in major acquisitions, major financing to huge companies that have an important role in their industry. You can even see here Fales Group. And this one is interesting because it's an aerospace company. Fales Group is a French multinational company that designs and builds electrical systems and provides services for the aerospace, defense, transportation and security markets. So it's interesting. This guy's played a role in so many different companies, but this company is particularly interesting. So we're going to read through this but first let's just look at what you have stern said here when asked about you know mr oded you have stern was basically saying that he's an international figure mr oded and combining with a unique track record as an artist and consumer branding expert with diversified management and business experience topped by a successful career as an investment banking entrepreneur i'm convinced that oded's international exposure and networks as a banker businessman as well as a not-for-profit social activist will add substantial value to our board for him to be you know a rothschild advisor a senior advisor as we can see here from one of his linkedins if we check the other linkedin as well it seems that oded was actually vice chairman at rothschild israel they also spoke about his role within the rothschild family you can see here mr gira has served as lord jacob rothschild's entrepreneur in residence so now mr adira must be well well connected because if you see this guy here jacob rothschild fourth baron rothschild this man here is balling he is in fact a famous british banker as you can see here nathaniel charles Jacob Rothschild, 4th Baron Rothschild, OMGBE, CVO, FRCA, I don't even know what these acronyms are, is a British peer and investment banker and a member of the prominent Rothschild banking family. The guy's net worth is in the billions and Mr. Gira served him as the entrepreneur in residence. This guy must be a money man, he must be very
very successful and clued up to even get to that position within Rothschild. And I think this member of the board here is obviously extremely intelligent, extremely experienced, but he's all about connections. And previously, when he was talking about Israel, you have Stern and this guy with so many connections, advising big, you know, um, Israeli companies on who they should acquire and brokering deals and helping get billions of dollars of financing. Will we be going after and acquiring some Israeli companies that are in the 3D printing manufacturing side of things, as well as the American company they were talking about previously and the one in Europe to give them exposure to the European markets too. We eagerly anticipate and we're waiting for an acquisition. But remember when Yoav Stern said, if you're going to be investing into Nano Dimension, you need to be patient. He said, we're going to be changing completely the industry and how they are uniquely positioned, obviously in the PCB industry. I remember Yoav Stern saying that he's at least two years ahead of competitors and he was still actually looking at acquiring competitors to make sure if they've got game changing tech or to make sure no one can get close. What was good about him not rushing it as well is as the market's corrected now and he's saying the SPAC craze went wild and the markets went through the roof, everything was driving up the price of acquisitions of 3D printing companies. So this guy is absolutely savage, he's absolutely brutal the way he answers questions but he's very intelligent, he's very smart because he didn't want to buy it, he won't overpay for companies and he was just taking his time. Now ARK Invest, I've been watching the weight in each portfolio, let's take a look at ARK Q, remember if you want to check this up look at Lucid Tracking in my description box below, I use the premium feature so I can compare it and look at everything across the board of what ARK is doing. In ARK's autonomous and robotics portfolio, I've been watching the weighting. So it's been about, you know, 2.4, 2.5% and it's fluctuated all the way between, you know, 1.6%. Right now it's sitting at a weighting of 1.7% and because we had this market drop today, well, almost a 10% drop in stock price. I think that ARK Invest is actually going to invest more. They're going to buy some more shares today. And remember, none of this is financial advice, but what I think this company could be worth in the future is ridiculous. And it's the same with the analysts over at ARK Invest. So the investment team, over at ARK Invest that are looking at this 3D printing portfolio. It consists of Catherine Woods, Brett Winton and Tasha Keeney. And with the industries across 3D printing being worth so much, you know, we're talking about almost over $500 billion worth. According to ARK Invest, that is for end use parts, molds and tools and prototypes. So Yoav Stern stated, you know, oh, in his interview last year that they're going after the PCB industry and that is about $75 billion worth. But here, if we look at the PRN news article, they're stating that they believe it's going to be worth about $86 billion by 2026. PCBs, printed circuit boards are going to be a nice little cash flow for them. And if we go back to Lucid Tracking, let's take a look. Let's go to Rankings and let's go to ArcQ Autonomous and Robotics and let's see what place it currently is, Nano Dimension. It's actually ranking has increased. You can see here it's in the 18th spot here. $59 million worth in this folder. And remember, it's currently down right now. If this bounces back to its 52-week uh, high, this will be over well over um, 100 mil. Nano Dimension did actually make it into the ArcW folder as well, which was ARC's internet folder and we can see here that Nano Dimension here is worth 40 million dollars there. It's also in the 3D printing folder we can see here 16th place 14 million dollars worth and in the Israel Innovation Tech folder it is 41st place with 5.7 million dollars. I expect ARK Invest is going to buy for their ARKQ folder today and acquire more shares because we remember Kathy Wood said it's more than just you know a 3D printed circuit board company it's actually become a 3D printed technology device company. So I'm super bullish on this company I probably spent about 80% of my last recent income I got in on Nano Dimension. The rest I was waiting for BNGO to come down in price and then I also bought more of that. Because my average is so high on both Nano Dimension and BNGO it's both roughly about the $10 $11 mark. I'm hoping to buy as much shares as I can while the market is down because I'm thinking if they manage to fulfill what UF Stern is saying he's going to do he wants to have like 100,000 Nano Dimension dragonflies all running off a neural network and making his money from the ink. Then this company company is going to be a cash flow king in the future and I don't want to miss out on it. Always remember that none of this is financial advice. This is for entertainment only. I'm just telling you what I've been up to and what I believe. And I want to know what you've been up to. So let me know if you've actually got in early on Nano Dimension, if you've been averaging down, um, how your thoughts and feelings are regarding the company and what you're currently waiting for. I know we're all keen. We're waiting for an acquisition, but we also want to hear about some sales maybe in the next quarter. Obviously, we have the elephant in the room, which is C19, the pandemic, and it's inhibited people from returning to the factories, from returning to the workplace from being able to 3D print stuff at the workplace. But I'm willing to wait five to eight years for this to play out. I'm looking for explosive growth over the next few years. As ARK Invest has said, they believe that it's going to have a compounded annual growth rate of around about 60% during the next five years. So that's from $12 billion to roughly $120 billion by 2025. And that's a low estimate in comparison to McKinsey, who said, you know, where it says $120 billion here, they've got this little extra bit here saying it could be on a high end, about $180 to $490 billion market.
market. So I'm going to see how this one plays out. Currently, I'm studying, but I'm looking at trying to get a part time job so I can buy as much shares as possible while it's taking a tumble. And um, I kind of see it as a blessing because I'm like, if the market's tumbling and, you know, it's not factoring in all of the growth that's going to come into the future, lots of institutions and retail investors are panicking. Is this my time to pick up shares? I want to show you something I noticed here as well. I noticed this name, North Star Investment Management Corp. I was looking up Occidental Petroleum and I saw this in Nano Dimension. So they actually exited their position in Nano Dimension. They also exited their position in BNGO. You can see above my head, Bio Nano Genomics. We scroll down to the last exited position that's been on file, documented. You see North Star Investment Management Corp. Also exited that. And guess where they put some money? An oil company. This is one that I'm invested in too, Occidental Petroleum. You can see here, they probably wanted to put it somewhere they believe, you know, there's a bounce back with travel, oil, all of that. And they invested into Occidental Petroleum. North Star Investment. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. And I can't wait to hear what you guys think of, you know, what's going on and this new board of director guy. Are you guys feeling impatient about the acquisition already? And how long are you prepared to hold Nano Dimension? How long are you willing to wait? Thank you very much for watching. And if you can, please join channel memberships above my head. It's only 99 cents or please consider joining Patreon. But if you're unable to join channel memberships or the Patreon, just hit the like and click subscribe for me, please. That will mean the world to me. And baby, I'm over and out. Mr. Invest a lot. Over and out, baby. Shh.